Hi, and welcome to part two in our series, Using the Modes. Please make sure that you've watched part one, the Ionian mode, before continuing, as that contains information that we will need in order to understand the following concepts. The Dorian mode is the second mode of the major scale. In this case, we're looking at G Dorian. So the G Dorian will be the second mode of the F major scale. Now we can see the F major scale contains the notes F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E and F. The G Dorian scale contains the same notes, but it's played in this order. G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F and G. So now G is the strongest note. Okay, the Dorian mode has the following formula. 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, 6 and flat 7. So if you take any major scale and you flatten the 3rd degree and the 7th degree, you will have a Dorian scale. The Dorian scale is a minor mode. We can use minor chords and their extensions to solo over. We're going to be using that behind our solos. And a common chord to solo over when doing this is the minor 7 chord. Okay, so here is the G Dorian scale shown as tab and as a scale diagram and finally demonstrated in the video. Just as in the Ionian mode video we looked at last time, our chords are going to come from the parent scale, in this case F major. Again we're going to use the 4 and the 5 chords from the parent scale, these being B flat and C. And just like last time, we're going to put the root of the mode, in this case G, in the base of the chord. This gives us B flat over G and C over G. And please note that B flat over G is actually the same as a G minor 7 chord. And here are those chords shown as a chord diagram and as tap. As with all the modes, with a bit of time and practice, you'll begin to recognize the sound of the mode, in this case Dorian, in many famous solos. And here are just a few examples to help you learn this sound. Okay, let's look at some example licks. Each lick is demonstrated twice and then it's followed by a backing track for you to practice against. Each backing track is about a minute long, so once you've learnt the lick, just skip ahead. You'll find that at the end of the video, there is an extended version of these backing tracks, about five minutes, so you can practice all the licks against it. <laughs> 